Shabai, welcome. I've got a few projects coming up um, and I just want to do a little tutorial on my new kind of development environment. I don't want to expose my, my lightning full mode uh, to all these different gizmos all the time because something is inevitably going to go wrong. Uh, so I want to expose a, a, a node which has a limited you know, limited funds and a limited amount of damage which can happen to it. So what I've taken to doing is, is just installing a copy of um, Zap uh, Desktop Wallet on my on my computer, then allowing access to that, you know, over the internet, um, and then through that I can I can access I can make you know API calls to the Neutrino node on the the, the Zap Wallet. It means I don't have to download the full Bitcoin blockchain, um, which is fine because I'm just using this for a development environment. Uh, so obviously, always run a full node. It's very important to run a full node. But uh, for some people, it may hinder them from developing on Lightning Network. Uh, so this can be a really easy on-ramp where you can, you know, within half an hour, you can be set up with an environment which you can start developing on and developing the projects I do as well on. Um, so I just want to do a little tutorial on that. So what we're going to do, we're going to access Neutrino node uh, via the uh, Zap desktop wallet. First, we're going to install Zap, fund it, set up channels, spend, um, you know, obviously to get inbound capacity, or, um, or you can buy inbound capacity from uh, uh, the, the power node service or, or something similar um, you can google that now uh, we're going to create a hex string of the macaroons because we're going to need the macaroon data that's like the, the the key which allows us access to the node um, over over the internet through an api request there's three different keys in lnd there's a um, an admin key that gives someone full access to your node and they can spend funds do whatever they want there's a read one where they can just you know read some data and then there's an invoice one for for creating invoices eventually there'll be many you'll be able to make your own macaroons and things but for now we've just got three macaroons we can use we're also going to use a free service called servio.net um, to make your node available over the internet and it's all temporary uh, it's just to create a developing environment which we can uh, connect to the, the the rest api of our lnd node nice and easily uh, don't be intimidated by this it's, it's much easier than it, it looks um, so tom kirkpatrick uh, has actually had so many people requesting such as me um, on information how to access the neutrino node he's put together a nice how to guide here um, and this gives us all the important information how you know what port we need to connect to the grpc what port we need to be able to connect to the, the rest api these are different to the the, the, the standard um, uh, rest api which i think is 8080 um, it also tells you how to get the SSL um, certificate and macaroons from your node. Uh, it, th for the example we're using, we don't actually need the SSL certificate, um, which is good because that's the fiddly bit. We just need the macaroons, um, so that's a little bit easier. It tells you how to get to access to the macaroons as well. Um, so if you haven't done it, the first thing you're going to want to do is actually download Zap. Go, uh, Google Zap Desktop Wallet and we should get you to the GitHub. Scroll down into the GitHub and there's an install link. Click on the install link. And there's information on how to install it on, you know, Mac, Windows, Linux. Um, sorry, Linux. That's a bad habit. Uh, if we click on the latest releases here, then there's, uh, he's got his, obviously the, the 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 latest releases for for, for Zap Desktop Wallet. I use the Linux um, portable app image because it's really easy and convenient. Uh, not sure about your own system, but you know, just install whatever is relevant to you. Once you've installed Zap, you're going to want to click on Create a New Wallet next generates your seed don't do what i'm doing and take a print screen um it's the worst thing you can do uh, click on next it'll ask you to input the a few of the words from your seed well where's 21 Never. i'd really like it if they went horizontally as opposed to vertically it confuses me three I think it's more natural as we, we read from the left to the right. Anyway, uh, click on next, um, put in a, a password, the wallet name, let's call it test, very imaginative. Now, we're just going to save our backup channels locally because we're not going to put too many funds on this. In fact, I mean, this is why it's not terribly um, problematic if you, if you lose your seed. As long as you don't use this and put too much funds on it, it's fine. If it's just for experimentation purposes. Uh, put in a backup directory. Um, put one in pictures, why not? Okay, next. It presents you with a uh, address, a Bitcoin address, which this is to send Bitcoin on main chain. Um, so get out your uh, Bitcoin wallet and then send that a little bit of Bitcoin, you know, just 
five pounds worth, something like that, something to, to play around with ten pounds worth. Uh, I've switched wallets here because I didn't want to go through the process of um, uh, funding the wallet and then setting up the channels. I've already done it. Um, a couple of channels I'm connected to. Let's have a look. If you go, so if you want to, if you want to create a channel, you go to channels, go to create. Does that make it super duper easy? And then there's some nice um, uh, channels here with with good visibility on the network you can connect to. Um, uh, so so yeah, so it says how much I can spend uh, and how much I can receive as well. So I use Lightning Power Users, the really good service by uh, Pierre Richard, uh, to be able to get some incoming, like a nice chunk of incoming balance. However, if you just put in limited resources on this app wallet. Um, if you spend money, then that means you can receive money, you know, if you, cause you're locking money up in the channel, aren't you? So if you, if you spend a couple of quid on your, of your Fiverr uh, over the lightning network then that couple of quid will be available to you to receive. Uh, so that's a, a good way. Go buy some stickers from Blockstream or whatever. So now our Zap wallet is all set up. Uh, we're able to go in and we're going to get the macaroons and retrieve them so we, we can actually use them in our projects. I'm going to use terminal to access my. I'm going to use terminal to get my macaroons and turn them into what we call a hex string. Um, use command line or, or whatever is relevant to your to your computer. Obviously, I'm in Linux, so it's terminal. Uh, if we look at Tom's guide here, he's got information here on how to get to the the the, the documents we need to get to. I'm actually get, not going to copy this whole link. I'm just going to copy it up to um, mainnet there, and I'll show you why in a second. Now, so if I cd um, into that. Now if I press LS, which is going to list all the different uh, folders in there, I've got wallet one, wallet two, wallet four, and then a temp wallet here. So I have three wallets on my, my Zap um, install. Um, so this is this is one of those wallets. It's actually the first one I set up. So I do actually want wallet, wallet one. Um, so that link, this uh, you are this um, address here would work for me because that's wallet one. But just to warn you, just in case you you know, you've ended up setting up a bunch of different wallets. So I'm going to CD into wallet one. And this is just the, the, the file system of um, CD into data. And then CD, oh, maybe it's just quicker if I, <laughs> I'll just copy that. Um, CD, we'll paste the whole thing in there. There we are, fantastic. If I press LS here, now, okay, here's our macaroon. So we've got an admin macaroon there. That's the important one, don't lose that. We've got an invoice macaroon, um, uh, invoices macaroon. We've got, da, 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 da. there's a read-only macaroon. There's a read-only macaroon there. Now we're gonna wanna convert these macaroon files into what's called a hex string so we can actually use it into, in our projects. In Linux, um, you can use XXD. Um, and this is a really simple command here. So we're going to take this admin macaroon here. I've actually already run this command and you can see here admin mac.txt. So that's uh, my, my hex file right there. So xxd, um, uh, we're going to take this admin macaroon and then we're going to make a new file. Um, and that's going to be a hex string of our new file. Um, so, so if I put a three there, there we are. So that file doesn't currently exist there. There's no admin mac 3 txt so if i hit enter and now if i ls in there should be admin mac 3txt so i can um i think i need to sudo gedit admin what is it admin mac 3.tx txt now i've probably fuzzed out but this will open up your admin macaroon it's in a nice easy hex format for us to Add into our um, add into our projects. You do the same thing with the um, read macaroon and the invoice macaroon. Keep them super duper safe somewhere because um, you you will be needing them. The next thing we need to do is to make our node publicly available. As uh, Tom has pointed out, where is it here? Um, our node is accessible just on this machine, just for us right now on localhost 8180. But we want it accessible um, uh, via the internet. So that's the REST API, LND's REST API. So if I, um, if I go to and type in localhost 8180 v1 get info, here we are. Um, and then it returns a, a JSON for this, for this, um, it's actually a get request 
which my browser's doing. Um, and it's saying it, there's expe it's expecting a macaroon. So to actually access this data, we'd need to use our read macaroon. But it just shows that on this computer and this computer only, I can access the neutrino node running behind uh, Zap, which is pretty cool. Um, but obviously I want to be able to get my gizmos and uh, a website I'm creating or whatever else to access um, my neutrino node. The easiest way to do this is to use Servio. Now we don't need to install anything for this. It actually uses an SSH, so it makes an SSH tunnel to Servio.net and then traffic is then routed through Servio.net to, um, your, uh, to, your, to your node through, through that uh, 8180 port. You don't need to install anything for this, it just works, which is great. Um, so in, in terminal in, in Linux, I think the, the commands are exactly the same actually in Windows and Mac. Go to servio.net for, for more information, they've got plenty of tutorials there. Um, so you need to create, um, a, a, a come up with a, a sub subdomain name for your Servio link. Um, so we'll just call it test LN or test test app. Should we call it test app? Yeah, I'm sure it's unique enough. Um, so we're going to hit enter. Now um, it's running. So our uh, node is now available over the internet. A way in which we can test to see if this is um, available over the internet is to um, copy that and then paste that in there. Now it does need to be HTTPS, I believe. Um, and if we type in v1 and get info, we should, there we are, cool. Um, it's saying, so it doesn't recommend the TLS certificate. So it's saying, do we want to access this data? We're saying, yeah, it's absolutely fine. We trust it, um, accept the risk and to continue. And here we go, look, there we are. We're accessing our node. Isn't that cool? Um, and that's through a publicly accessible URL right there. So how easy was that? Now we have, the macaroons we need, we've got a URL we need so we can access the LND API um, and we can take full advantage of the Neutrino LND um, running behind Zap, uh, use the API just as we would if we were running a lightning full mode. Uh, anything you develop for this, you'll be able to use on a lightning full mode as well. Well, not LND lightning full mode, should I say. Um, so there we are, absolutely easy peasy and a very simple way to be able to make a nice developing, developing environment so you can start developing uh, Lightning Network applications.